much is it? 4K? I'm like positive you have 10 deuce. Oh. Wow, that's how he does it. You guys are both playing really good right now. Bob would have played this exactly the same way I did. What it's worth. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Studio 52. I am Jay Carver, and we are live. Playing some 25, 50, 100, no limit hold'em, and MJ is going to get us started off here with a raise with the 10 8 offsuit. A little spicy from him. Action over to me, and I decide to call with the King 10 of Diamonds from the small blind. Johnny Vibes with Jack 10 offsuit. He's going to join the party. Jack high flop here is best for vibes. Decides to check over to MJ, who also decides to check. I pick up a flush draw. I think I have a lot of pairs and obviously plenty of draws to bluff with. Decide to bet 550. And Johnny Vibes calls. Heads up to the river. Hey girl, queen of diamonds on the end. I decided to bet pretty big here, about three quarters of the pot. And get a pretty quick call here from Johnny Vibes. He just thinks I have some sort of worse pair or miss straight draw. But what are you and there you go, $5,000 pot for the good guys. Usually I should be an unbiased commentator, so but you know. It really does behoove you to learn those things quickly rather than in 22 years when you go, wow, I should have been eating less, you know, whatever you're eating that's horrible for you. Uh, instead of 22 more years of consuming that thing. Yeah. Like, I'll help Dan out right now. Some wisdom. Don't misread your hand and then grab your opponent's hand and then look I at it. I thought it was the if hand you I learned that not. right now, I honestly it'll, thought never, of, it'll no. never happen again. I know that, but I f***ed up. Wait, that's my no, hand. No, that's his hand, that's his oh. hand. Oh no, you had a full house, oh my god, I misread. I you misread your hand, you misread your hand again. Then you stole hand. my cards. I apologize, but I, 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 I rivered the nut flush and I didn't realize it or I would have obviously called. Are you called. okay? No, no, I, okay? two or three diamonds. How many fingers <laughs> am I holding up there? That was a hilarious hand last night. Dan Shack raises it up with the six, seven of diamonds. And decide to flat with pocket eights from the button. Remember, there is a 10 deuce bounty in honor of the late great Doyle Brunson. Any player who wins with the 10 deuce and shows it will receive a $200 bounty from every player. So knowing that, I'm even more inclined to call than I would usually be, and this is probably a call even without that. And Jesse flops the flush. 3,400 in the pot. Still so familiar. He bets 600. I do know Jesse very well. Not too much I can do here, given that I have an over pair and the flush draw, but I am 2%. Not a very good percent. I did, but I haven't created any We quadruple our chances with that five. Now any eight or any five would make me the best hand. And Jesse's just thinking how much he wants to bet here. What would he bet if he just had ace, queen, ace, jack with a diamond? What would he bet if he had two jacks? And obviously this is better than any of those. He goes with half pot. And this is a spot where we could potentially consider folding, but I think with the diamond, it's a little too strong. River four, now that's an even worse card for me. On the turn, I'm hoping Jesse has a hand like ace, king, ace, queen, ace, jack with a diamond, and now I don't beat those either. And from Jesse's point of view, he's hoping that I have a hand like ace, queen, ace, jack, ace, king. I wouldn't have ace, king because I didn't re-raise preflop, but he's hoping that I had maybe ace, five, and backed into a straight here, or maybe like pocket sixes. He goes all in. I've got a fold. Waiting to see if I'm gonna get shown the 10 deuce. But not this time. I had diamonds. You had diamonds? Matt Berkey joins the game. Johnny Vibe's gonna raise it up in that cutoff position with the king three suited. And Berkey puts in the re-raise. Action over to Vibes. Now, the usual play would be just to fold here, but that's not what Vibes is going to do. $4,000 raise. These players are playing pretty deep stacked. Around 20000 in play. You guys are both playing really good right now. Bob would have played this exactly the same way I did. <laughs> We're keep talking about Bob Mather playing the hand the same way the player he replaced. Open in a straight draw for Berkey. Vibes was the aggressor preflop, though. 
Does he continue? No. And now will Berkey bet in position here or just take the free card? He does check back. And Vibes makes a pair on the turn. Doesn't change that much, but he does now beat some ace high hands or maybe better king high hands that Matt had. What does Berkey want to do with his nine high? He has to think about how can I win this hand? How can I make a hand that was willing to put in a big re-raise preflop fold by the river now? So he decides to start telling his story here with about half pot bet on the turn. And you gotta imagine his intention would be to bluff on any five, maybe a seven or a 10. But instead he just makes the best hand on the river with the nine. Vibes can't love that card, he checks. And Berkey thinking about will a better hand fold or a worse hand call? I'm like positive you have 10 deuce. He's not gonna see 10 deuce, he's gonna see the good news. Oh, wow, that's how he does it, Matt Berkey. Nice pot for Berkey. You guys are both wow. playing great. In things that may pan out somewhere down the line. MJ gonna raise it up with that 10 nine of hearts. Action to Jesse Sylvia in the small blind with a very reasonable ace queen suited. Puts in the re-raise. Quick call from MJ and we are off to a flop. Top pair, top kicker for Jesse. Flush draw for MJ. How is Jesse gonna play this hand? Starts with about a half pot and MJ decides to call. So far, normal enough. Three, not that scary on the turn, but MJ does play a lot of hands. Jesse decides to check, sort of laying the trap a little bit. MJ doesn't bluff on the turn, but now with 10 high on the river, Jesse sets the trap again. Will MJ try to bet and win this spot? He knows he can't win unless he bets. Yeah, he bets around half the pot, gets quickly called by Jesse, throws his hand into the muck. Nice hand, Jesse. Doesn't even have to show his cards to win. Action over to me with pocket nines on the button. Standard raise. Jesse calls king queen offsuit from the small blind. And Matt decides to put in a raise, wakes up with pocket tens in the big blind. I have about $10,000 to start the hand here. I don't think we can do anything besides call. I was considering shoving, but decided to just call. Queen six, queen. Not too much will have changed from preflop. Matt decides to bet small, about a quarter of the pot. Decide to call. Don't think there's any other choice so far. I'm concerned I don't have the best hand, but certainly could against any number of Berkey's ace high or king high hands, jack 10 suited, maybe some low pairs occasionally, although those would usually just call. Berkey checks the turn, which means he definitely doesn't have 10 deuce, right? He would have bluffed with that almost for sure he would have bet again. But I did think maybe he just had ace high, ace king, ace jack. Maybe he just had a hand like eights. Decided I was gonna bet small and check back the river, but instead we make a full house. And now I'm thinking, how can I get paid here? And with just about a pot size bet I'm left, I say I'm all in. I got lucky, get bro. snap called. Hello, nice nine ball corner pocket. Ship it to Papa. The biggest hand of the night to me. Wow. And now, a little while later, I swear, I didn't just instantly leave, okay? We're just gonna fast forward through time. And now Todd Anderson joins the game, takes over my seat. I had to go to bed. What can I say? I'm an early riser. He's gonna raise it up here with Pocket Kings. Welcome to the table, Todd. Poker Night in America president started out as our honorary dealer to kick us off and now is uh, playing. Battling with these pros. Two takers here against his kings. Top pair for Vibes. Todd's gonna bet the safe flop. Vibes comes along. Pretty nice bet here from, from Todd sizing wise. Bet pretty big. Safe turn. How much is Todd gonna wanna bet here? About two thirds of the pot. Vibes can't really do much here. He still beats flush draws, worse jacks. Any number of straight draws or just complete bluffs. Four of spades. Neither player is going to be thrilled about that card, but Todd makes kind of a tight check here. 
happy to show it down, but does pick up over $4,000 in profit. Nice little 8K pot for Mr. Todd. Some uh, light basketball being played in the background here. Poker players will gamble on just about anything, and especially women trying to shoot basketballs in home games. That definitely qualifies. Berkey raises it up, though, with the ace-9 offsuit. Jesse calls with his red sixes. And Jesse flops the set. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Whiff for Lily. Whiff for Matt also. Matt's putting $500 in this pot that he will probably never see again. Turn King, definitely a card that Berkey could keep bluffing on. Puts a lot of pressure on hands that are just threes or sixes. Even a hand like 10-8 of clubs wouldn't be thrilled about facing a second bet, but he does decide to check here. Another card that Berkey is going to be very tempted to bluff. Jesse will have an even tougher time now calling with any of those lower pairs. And Berkey does decide to put in a pot-sized bet on the river. He's just trying to get Jesse to fold 6-5 suited, maybe a hand like pocket fives, pocket fours, sevens, eights, but even a 10, many 10s may even fold in this situation. Now on Jesse's side, he's thinking to himself, should he raise for value? He doesn't have too many hands as good as this, but they are so deep and Matt Berkey is definitely capable of putting in a re-raise with nothing, but- If he raised, I was gonna three bet. <laughs> See, Matt just says he is gonna re-raise if Jesse had raised. So he just calls and takes down a nice pot. Action starts off with Matt Berkey with the ace seven suited. He's gonna get two customers, MJ and Dan. Oh, Lily makes the shot. Meanwhile, Matt Berkey makes the best hand. Berkey decides to check. MJ checks his gut shot, and Dan has an easy check you, with the under pair. Two pair for Berkey. This is a bit of a nightmare card for MJ, making top pair with his gutter. And a very large bet from Berkey here. He bets more than the size of the pot. MJ has to just call, though. Jack on the river. These two guys are so high-level poker scientists. Berkey decides to check. Doesn't like that Jack. Check and win. Check and win is correct, sir. Check and win. Oh, put that in 10K on the river. <laughs> I don't like it, I'll tell you that. I don't like it at all. Oh, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more Matt Berkey action, go check out this high roller cash game where he takes on Jason Mercier and there is a 200K pot. So go check that out and I'll see you right here back for more very soon.